Hey guys, it's your favorite auntie. And Megan Good said, yep, that's my man and I'm going to stick beside him. This is for my man. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And you are just one of those people that are not on social media and um, you just stay out of folks' business. Well, I don't know why you would be on my channel then, but <laughs> you know what's going on with Megan and um, Jonathan Majors. But before we get into this video, please know that everything in this video is my opinion. It's auntie's opinion and um, everything is alleged. And sometimes my videos have some dramatizations in it, just depending on what we're talking about and how I'm feeling. All right. So we all know that Megan Good was married to Devon for what, uh, about nine years. And um, they had, they split what, in December, 2021. So I don't really know that we can really put Megan Good in a box. I think probably prior to her being married to Devon, we probably would have labeled her as part sweet, part rebel, you know, just kind of based upon who we've seen her out in public with as far as dating wise. Uh, we kind of know her regarding all of the movies that she's been in, but we don't really like know her, know her, but just, you know, just kind of what we've seen that she seems to be, you know, she was a party girl. She was that girl. She was a rebel. Then she got with Devon and we saw a different side of Megan. It seems as if it was the more mature side. It was the, she had found her uh, faith and was really uh, tapping into her faith. And they just seem like, you know, a happy couple. You know, they post pictures and they just seem like they had a very good relationship. And they even wrote a book together. Um, it was called The Weight. I'm going to assume that Jonathan hasn't read it and I'm going to assume she's not applying the weight to Jonathan. Okay. That's the dramatization, a little messy part, but that's okay. So, um, they wrote a book and they promoted the book and shoot, seemed like not too long after they was promoting the weight, they split up, but I could be wrong in my timeline. It's just stuff that be going on in my head. So don't hold me to any dates and timelines. As a matter of fact, some stuff I be on and some stuff, I'm just going by what it felt like and when it felt like in my head. Okay. I'm no journalist. I'm just, um, auntie wanting to give some advice because I'm not going to lie. Like I'm seeing some red flags with Jonathan that I really hope that Megan is um, looking into and just not being oblivious to. But let me just back up, you know, a little bit because I was talking about Devon and her relationship with Devon and just seemed like she was really um playing that role of the preacher's wife. Now, for me, it seemed as if things changed with them after she started doing her movie. Um, what was the name of that movie? Oh my goodness. I can't think of the name of that movie. Okay. I'm going to find the name of that movie and then I'm going to put it in this video because I can't think of Harlem. There we go. Harlem. So when she was filming Harlem, I, I it seemed like it, there was a shift where they may have been going in two different directions just because the nature of the show Harlem. Now, oftentimes, you know, actors and actresses can separate, you know, their personal life from what they're doing filming wise. But there were rumors that possibly he had an issue with her movie. I don't know that to be a fact. He promoted her movie, but it definitely seemed like there was a disconnect in the way that he kind of lived his life. And then her kind of being known now as this preacher's wife and you're doing a movie like Harlem. I'm sorry, I call it a movie, but it's a TV show. You were doing a TV series called Harlem and the things that would, that would go on in that particular show. Now, I'm not judging. I'm just saying that that's what people were noticing, right? And um, needless to say, I will say that I do know this part for a fact that they released a joint statement December of 2021 Stated that they were no longer together. This was uh, released on Instagram. And um, I think the divorce was finalized about six months later, which would have been 2022. So when did she get with Jonathan Majors? So we heard about her dating him 
around May of 2023 because I had seen online where some people were speculating that perhaps she was seeing Jonathan Majors while she was with Devon. But I looked into that just because I wanted to see was there any overlapping in timeline that could have made that possible. I can't say for certain, but they were not seen out until um 2023 so i'm gonna go with that i'm gonna think that no there's no overlap there jonathan was um of course we know him from the movie creed and he's been in other movies too so creed 3 came out what that was uh i believe creed 3 came out i'm gonna say march of 2023 and shortly after creed came out is when we heard about him getting arrested um, where Karen, I'm sorry, her name is Grace Jabber. Uh, Grace had uh, him arrested for domestic abuse. And this was shortly after Creed was dropped. And I'm pretty sure Creed came out in March of 2023. Now they say he was with her for about two years. And um, they had a history of basically having a toxic relationship is what it looked like. Now, the red flags for me that I'm seeing with this relationship. Um, so then what, so then May, I guess is when, um, uh, Megan started dating him. So she was well aware of his charges, his arrests. Cause obviously she started dating him months later. She was aware of all of that and ignored all of that, that I'm not saying that she should, um, sit in judgment of him, but you do have to be cautious when you're going to start a relationship with someone who is high profile like Jonathan Majors, and he has a charge for domestic abuse. You can't take that lightly. I'm not in any way saying that he a hundred percent, you know, cause harm to grace. I don't know that I wasn't there. He was found guilty of it. We do know that. Um, but you still want to be cautious about that. You're going to get into a brand new relationship with the guy who caught a charge on the domestic abuse, right? That's a serious thing. Um, and so then she started, um, and when I say she, I'm talking about Megan started appearing in court with him and, and, and I'm confused cause I'm like, Megan, girl, we just was married to Devon, a, a devout Christian. You were the preacher's wife. What had happened, girl? What had happened? Is this the wild side? Is this the rebel side? Is this the, um, you know, I just want to be free. Maybe she felt captive or maybe that's just who she was during those nine years. That's what she wanted to be at that time and just felt like that it, that's not who she is now. Because it definitely seems like night and day between the two. I, it, I don't know if she liked the thrill of the bad boy, but... I'm going to need you. And I know she sat in court, so she heard all the evidence. So she had a chance to decide whether or not she was wanting to believe the evidence. And I'm going to assume that she chose not to believe any of it because she's still rocking with him and was a tear, uh, excuse me. And she was appearing in court, holding his hand, you know, being his, um, well, she was being by his side. That's what she was being. Okay. <laughs> um, so we know that uh, today, I think that was today. Yeah, because, so, okay, so you may, who knows, whenever you're watching this video, it may be confusing for you, but today is actually uh, January the 8th, Monday is when I'm recording this video. So today it was released where Jonathan did a interview um, with, who was the interview with? I can't think of the lady's name. I'm going to put the lady's name in here, but it was an interview with ABC and they just released that today. And in that interview, I'm sorry, Jonathan, but it was the performance was subpar. To say he's an actor, I would have expected a better performance. You know, him trying to plead his case, um, him being so shocked of being found not guilty. I'm sorry, being found guilty on some of the charges. It was not believable for me. You guys let me know in the comments what you thought when you watched it. I... I didn't believe a word he said. It just gave fake and force, the fake tears, the uh, answers to the questions. It, it, I didn't believe any of it. I really didn't. And it's not like I'm just team Grace. Um, 
I'm just looking at it for, at face value. And I was just like, boy, it, it's not even believable. You're a whole actor and you couldn't put on this performance. I wasn't buying any of it. Then he had uh, Megan there and they showed her um, that she was given a great performance, um, looking very caring and concerned and um, looking like she was about to cry. And, you know, given the appearance of, I'm going to stick beside my man and um, he didn't do any of this. She definitely gave that. Now, that may be how she really, really feels. And if it wasn't and she just was acting, she did her job. He did not do his job. He was not convincing in my opinion. Y'all let me know if y'all felt that he was convincing. Here's my advice to Megan. Now, granted, she does not need my advice. She's a grown woman. She can do what she want to do. We know that we got that part out the way. I still am going to give some advice. Um, I just really want her to make sure that she is not having blinders on, that she is really looking into who this man is. Does she know more about him in his background, not just his relationship with, you know, this particular person, Grace Jabber, but what about relationships that he's had in the past? Has he ever had any history of, DV with those women. I would be looking into that because I need to know if this is your character. Was this a one-off thing where you were just in a toxic relationship with someone and y'all just fought all the time? Or is this really you? Do you really have a temper? Because if so, that's concerning. If he did it to her, he'll do it to you. Um, I think that she really, 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 really needs to make sure she looks into that. Um, I really want her to ask herself what it is that she's looking for as well. He made the comment in the interview that he think he found the one. He said it's still fresh because it hasn't been a year yet. Um, he said it's still fresh, but he think he may have found his person, which very well may be true for him. She's a great girl, I believe, in my opinion. I don't know her like that, but it seems like she would be a great girl. So that could be true. But even when he said that, it still didn't come across as genuine to me. He called her his um, Coretta. And you know, he's talking to, talking about Coretta King, Dr. Martin Luther King's wife. She, he said that um, he called Megan an angel and said she held him down like Coretta. The same Coretta that he wanted Grace Jabber to be. The same Coretta. So I don't know. Like, I don't... I, it. If I'm being honest, it felt like he's using her. That's the vibe I got. Usually I'm pretty good at discernment and that's that's really what I felt. And I just did not like that. I was just like, girl, does he really, really, really like you like that? Or is he really using you to make his image better? Just like he sat down with the lady that he interviewed with. Is is this turning to the black community now because you want to fix your image? And you know that the black community, community is always accepting. We're very forgiving. I've said that on prior videos. We're very forgiving. And we um, open you back with open arms if we feel like you've learned your lesson. So now let me turn back to the black queen. Let me get this black queen on my arm so everybody can see that I'm the good guy here, that it wasn't me. Look what Karen did to me. Well, you put yourself in a situation with Karen. And I would want to know too, if I was making how many other Karens you dated? Cause I need to know, I need to see something. Just be very, very cautious of that. And make sure this man is just not using you to get himself back into Hollywood, to get himself back into good graces with people. And he really has an issue. If you see any signs or any inkling that this man um, has a temper, I'm going to need you to run, run, Megan, run. Don't even let it escalate to a point where it could become physical. Let it go. Now, again, this is just all my opinion. They could have a great relationship. He could really have found the, the woman of his dreams and they could have total peace because she seems like she's a peaceful person. So maybe that's what he needed, someone who can match his peace. I don't know, but that's just what I got from it. You guys let me know what you got out of watching um, that interview. You know, he's lost a lot. He's been dropped by, you know, what, what company was it? Was it the Disney? Was it Marvel? Disney? He was recently dropped by. He's lost representation. And now he's trying to get back into, you know, his acting. 
And I think he will. I think he will definitely be able to act again. But I feel like him being with Megan is what's going to help him get there. And that's why I'm concerned if he's using her. But that's it. That's all for this video. Um, stay tuned. I think I'm going to do another video. and We're probably going to talk about Erica and uh, Scrappy and Diamond. I'll probably do a video on that. Give my two cents on that one. So that may be the next video to drop. And if I don't drop it, then maybe I changed my mind. Decided that I didn't care about those people. So anyway, make sure you like, comment and subscribe.